Hello and welcome everyone to the video review of different kind of camera bags that you can use on your next photo expedition. Now I have two different cameras that I like to use and they are the main DSLR that I use myself. This is the SEO 5D Mark III. This one cost around 3000 bucks with the lens itself which is the 24 to 105 millimeter the reason i like this lens the most is it is lightweight and it gives me a pretty good reach which is 24 to 105 millimeter this is great for most assignments weddings uh, photo shoots things like that now on the other hand if i want to go and shoot wildlife nature things like that I can't really use this one as much. First of all, this is a more expensive camera and I don't want to risk it on something like wildlife expedition or else I can use this for paid events. Another reason why is that the lens itself, although 24 to 105 millimeter is pretty good, this lens I can interchange and put in a different camera, but the issue is it doesn't give me enough reach, especially when an animal is pretty far away. So instead of walking to the animal itself, you go and you zoom in with your camera and you get the picture. That's why I have two different bodies. Now you might ask me, why do I have two different camera bodies with lens? And it's a good question. The answer for that is quite simple. If something happens to one of your camera bodies when you're shooting a wedding, you gotta have an extra camera with a lens so it could do the job as well. Plus, when I go and do wildlife photography and nature, I don't take my expensive camera, I take the different camera. Although this one is just as expensive, but at least it doesn't cost as much. So this one is going around $4,700, but the lens itself goes for a lot more. So this is a very expensive lens. Here we are talking about around 2,000 bucks here, 70 to 300 millimeter super zoom. As you can see, look at the size of this lens. And I wanna show you just how long it is. Now this is the super zoom lens. Now to keep it small, or at least look like it is small, this protector from the sun, I just put it on backwards a lot of times because you don't really need it in a lot of situations. So putting it backwards in, screwing it in right like here, like that, it looks a lot more stealth now. And because of this, I have this camouflage that goes right over it. And the reason why I like the camo right over this is then they can't see that I'm using a white expensive lens. So that's the main reason I like it, but it's much harder for me to move this sensor once I put this backwards in. But a lot of times I do use the 300 millimeter a lot for. So what I do is like this, and now it looks pretty much camouflage. So the next thing I wanna talk about is of course, when you have all those different cameras, you gotta have the correct bag to get the job done. That's why I have a bunch of them right here, and I use each one of them, of course. Now. First camera bag that we have, this is the old fashioned camera bag, one of the first ones I ever got when I got into photography. This one I don't recommend for you to get. It looks too much like what it is, a camera bag. So if you put your expensive equipment in here, think what's going to happen if you leave it accidentally somewhere. Somebody might pick it up and you know, steal it. So you don't want this to happen, you don't want to attract the bag to say, hey, I got a Canon camera in here. The worst kind of bag would actually say Canon right here. No, 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 big no, no, don't do this. Now, take a look at this bag itself. One thing about I totally dislike is look at this. It's like so many zippers here and it's hard to get it out. And there is a compartment right there that you can put something in here. And guess what? This is just not going to fit in there anyway. So it's too big for this camera. Not going to work for most uses. It works for a very small camera, maybe a small lens. This one, nah, doesn't want it, nope. So this definitely is the wrong bag for you to get. That's a big no-no. Next bag. This is actually the smallest bag I got. Now this one, is one of my favorite kind of bags and that's why I review all different kinds of bags for you. 
This is one of my favorite for a simple reason. Look how easy this to access it. Opens it up easily. You have the equipment right here, lens, the camera. I already have a camera right here. Here's another camera. Now, this is one of my favorite cameras right there of all times. This is the M3 camera. Super small, very small lens and you can put it in your back of your pocket almost and take a picture with it. This is probably my most favorite one except the G7X2 which is my number one favorite camera. Now this camera itself goes right in here and it's easily accessed but the reason I got you this to show you how you can use a bigger camera for it. So the 24 to 105 millimeter you go right in here and guess what it even fits that in here as well not really good but it does fit it in there we go put it like this go to your trip backpacking and you need it open it up right here sideways get it out take a picture or oh, even easier look at this how it goes a few seconds in so if you're on a photo assignment this is one of the best bags out there it is the smallest one too and the great thing about this the only bad thing is one shoulder only so it's not great for your back but other than that look at this easy access get it out take a picture it's going to be links right in the bottom of this uh, video where you can go and get your own equipment just in case you decide you want one of those anyway the great thing about this is it's small factor small size you can put extra lens in here and guess what i have here extra lens and you can put a bunch of things in here as well but guess what you can't put your watch here there's almost no space for that cell phone right here let's put this back in cool i found the cover Oh, that's for that one. Okay. All right. Next bag. I like this bag. One of my favorite. A plus. So let's go. Next bag is this one. The Maxpedition. Great for expedition. Love this bag. Not a camera bag. This is great for survival equipment. Put your survival stuff right here. Full state kid right there. Let's get it out. And the reason why it is in another bag, let's say for example it rains, you don't want anything to happen to your survival equipment, especially if it is a full state kid. Very important for your expeditions to have a full state kid. And again, that's the Expedition bag. Very rough, awesome. I like it for every reason possible. You can put like drinks right here. You can put your lunch bag in here. Guess what? I got my lunch bag in here. You can take this anywhere you want. It is very good material. You can put even your iPod right here too. Maybe a phone. Put a phone right here as well, right here. This is one of the best, and I'll tell you, one of the best bags I ever owned. But the only thing that I don't like about this, it's not made for cameras. So if you have a camera, you can't put it in here. It's not gonna protect it. There is no protection here for, for equipment like this. So this bag, it is excellent for everything except putting your camera in here. <laughs> so if you're getting this just because you want to put your camera, no, don't get it for that. You're getting it for every other reason except that. So the Expedition bag, great for yoga, great for going outdoors, get, great for just about anything except putting your camera in there. Next bag, this one. Designed to look like a backpack, like a student backpack. You, you might see those things, like students have those bags. This is actually one of my favorite bags out there. Only thing about this is it's not really giving that much of a protection. You can feel it, it is very fluffy and it's not really giving you the 
padded protection in a lot of places. So on the top, you can put your lunch bag right here. There's a huge spot just for food and uh, I don't know, whatever equipment you want to put in here. Not for camera equipment, not in this location anyways. Right here, you can put drinks right here, two, bottle, two bottles of water, right side, left side. You can put your iPod, not in this version, nope. Uh, you can put it right in the same location, right inside. There's actually something that opens up right here. You can put something in here, but it's gonna be like a phone. It's not big enough for the iPod. But the place that you can put an iPod is right in the front, right here, right in this pocket. But there is no protection for it as well. So you need your own protection for that. Now, the cool thing about this is this. Right in the back, opens up. There's a padded place here. And you can go and rearrange this in any way you want. But one thing about this is that this is great for small cameras, not this one. This one will never fit in here. Although, if you get rid of most of those paddings out of here and rip them out, because you're, you can rearrange and take them out, you might be able to maybe stick this one in here. Yeah, you, you actually can, but you will get rid of all the protection and everything else in here. And you know what? This kind of a bag, is great for people who go on airplanes, fly a lot, stuff like that. So because of that, you put in your lunch right here, you put in your passport, you put in a lot of other things in here like a small camera, you can put in um, your phone and some snacks and all kinds of other important stuff, even money in here. A lot of storage compartments, it's really cool, but for the big camera, it's not really gonna work. So, that's not for this equipment, but for a small camera, let me get the small one out just to show you. It will actually will work. Get the small camera out. You know? And you can put it in one of the compartments right here. Open them up. Put it in here. See? The M3 camera. The perfect travel camera. You can just put it anywhere you want. Really. It's kind of really awesome. And right now it has the 28 millimeter with the super macro lens. So if you're going for nature photography and you really want to get all those small little insects, this is the camera for you. Look at the size. Compared to a real DSLR versus this, which one would you rather have? Which one is easier to carry? And you know what? It takes pictures almost as good as this one. Really. Amazing what technology can do today. Now, last camera bag that we're gonna review here is this one. This is the Rollpro. And actually, this one is Rollpro too, and that one as well. I love Rollpro. It makes the best bag ever. Now, this one, has a huge, and I mean by huge, gigantic place where you can put your lunch, a few essentials, cell phone, PDF, I don't know, whatever you want in here. You name it, you put it in here. You can even put, whoa, you can even put your laptop right in here. Huge place, a lot of paddings for it as well. Lots of protection. This is the perfect one if you want to go and travel. So if you're traveling, you're going to places, you got the big DSLR camera. No, you're not putting it in here. No, my friend. If you're putting it in, you're putting it right here. You're putting it up like this. Look at the space here. You can put the biggest lens, the big camera, all the way in here with the big, huge lens. We're gonna be closing it up right here. Check this out. And the best thing about this, you can go hiking for miles. This is the best hiking one out of all of those. The reason for it is pretty, quite simple. Is first of all, you can access your camera anytime you want. Second of all, you have two of those for backpacking. And it is similar to this one, except you can't put this DSLR in here. So that's the reason 
this one is not so great so put this like this you walk around anywhere you want take it off or just swing it like this get the camera out and you're getting the big camera out Whoa. big one out now it's time to take pictures and guess what you need to do always have extra memory and always have battery battery is not in here didn't put it in so it's actually off right now same deal with this one now the reason why i don't have the batteries in there is quite simple you don't want to have the batteries in here because it's gonna go bad so if you're keeping them for storage for a long time take the batteries out it's really up to you to decide which one works for your needs and of course my all-time favorite is the expedition bag now you might say all of those are my favorite because i own all of those and that is true but of course as i progressed with my hobby and i need and to have different uses for different kind of bags you get different ones and you use them for different kind of occasions as well so wedding photography is one bag hiking expedition would be another just going to places would be another bag and of course the smallest and the miniest one is this one and i like this one probably the most out of those for only one reason it is the smallest and it you can take it anywhere and people don't pay that much attention to you most is something like this you definitely are gonna take this and definitely people are gonna look at you because it is a big bag so unless you really need to have all this storage extra space for the big bag i highly suggest the low profile bags for your equipment unless of course you have the dslr camera so with that said this completes the review of the different kind of camera bags and if you need any more reviews post below a comment ask me any question you want make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more awesome content see you on the inside and i hope to see you in another video